Hi, it's Brenda with Luke's here today to show you a new project you can use your MySoNet software to create. So what we're going to do is an in the hoop project and we're gonna go ahead and start that creation right now. So I have the software open and what I'm going to do is go up here to the create tab. And when I click, I see all these modules and I'm going to come over to project in the hoop. And because it's summer and we're getting ready for vacations, we're going to create a luggage tag. So we see the luggage tag, we have some choices. I'm going to choose floral, okay, let's hit okay. All right, so the design's going to load for us. Coming in and here it is. Okay, so we're gonna learn a couple things. We see the design and the luggage tag says Rosie. Well, number one, this is a luggage tag for Bob, not Rosie. So we need to change the name and we also need to change the design because Bob's not real into floral, okay? So really it's a, it's a way to show you a couple of ways to modify things. So we see that we have our luggage tag right here. The first thing we're gonna do is I want you to take a look at the design player to see how this is made. So when we look at it, it's going to show me, it's going to do the outline on my stabilizer. It will pause and allow me to position what I'm making the luggage tag from. Okay, so I'm going to put my, my pleather down or maybe some oil cloth, something that's plain and sturdy. Then it's, the recording is going to continue. We see that it does another stitch around, allows me to trim out the edges, and then it's going to continue and do the design and finish up with Rosie. Okay, so this is an applique. So it gives you the shape, you trim it, then you do your design. So we see that, and all of that is wonderful, except it says Rosie. We don't want Rosie, we want Bob. So the first thing we need to do is to ungroup this design. I'm going up here to my toolbar right here. You see my cursor. And when I hit ungroup, we see that this design is made up of three components. The first design here, which is the outline, Rosie and the floral. The name, which says Rosie, which we want it to say, Bob, okay? And then the final. So what we're going to do first is we are going to go into the design and we are going to eliminate the floral design here. So I'm going to take the design, I'm going into modify, see up here at the top tab, and now I can see my design. I need to make it larger. So look down here in the bottom right corner and I'm making the design bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. So at this point, I'm going to select all the visible stitches. And in fact, let's go ahead and, and cut out. So I'm gonna do box select and I'm going to cut, all right, so I'm gonna define a box around the floral area. Okay, let's make sure I've got everything. Boop. And I'm gonna come up here to the left and I'm going to hit cut and it's gone, okay? I see a couple of extraneous points. I'm just gonna come back, catch those, cut, cut. Okay, so those are all gone. When I go back to the home screen, I say, oh, well, look at that. My luggage tag no longer has the floral design. It just says Rosie. Well, guess what? It needs to say Bob. So over here on the film strip on the left, I select the design that says Rosie, and I'm simply going to cut that. Actually, I'm going to, to delete it. So Rosie is gone. So now we're going to put Bob on our tag. So up here, I'm going to the letter tab. And I see I've, I've pre-selected a font. You know that when you hit this lovely drop down, there are tons of fonts in your software. I want this one. It says Bob. I'm going to hit apply. And there's Bob. Now, I look at that and I say, it's a nice font, but dang, it is small. I can right click in the text box, go up to edit lettering. And I know that I want this. See right here, I'm changing it. I'm changing it to 30 millimeters. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now I've got Bob. That looks pretty good, I like that. 
Okay, so we have our luggage tag, but we didn't want the floral. We cut that out. And I'm going to insert a football down here. I have the football over here on the right on my clipboard. So I'm going to paste. And there's my football. I can move it here. And now, as you know, when I have blue handles on a design, that means I can press the control button on my keyboard, grab a corner, and make my football a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're good. Now, let's look at one other thing. When I look over here on my film strip, I see that I've got the initial portion to applique the material down for the luggage tag. Uh-oh, look at here's the finish stitching, and I want to do that last. I've got Bob, I've got my football. So I'm going to grab this portion and put it down at the bottom. So that's going to do the finish stitching around my luggage tag. So it all has a nice uh, a nice satin stitch around it, okay? So what we've done is we've created a lovely luggage tag for you to use on your summer vacation. You see how you can edit that using the Modify tab, eliminating portions of the design, dropping in your own text and your own design. Hope you enjoy this project. Till next time, it's Brenda with Luke's.